folks and welcome to this video which is on my Joy for All collection. So I've got Charlie the dog on the left first then last year I got Marmalade the cat and the latest edition is Walker Squawker this little blue bird. And before I start talking about these three models, I just want to let you folks know that if you decide you want to purchase one of these items after watching the video, if you use the link in the description below, I would really appreciate it as it helps the channel by helping me to buy more of these little therapeutic pets to unbox and share it with you folks. So the Joy for All range is by a company called Ageless Innovation and they are aimed at seniors. They were originally made by Hasbro and after Ageless Innovations took over the Joy for All range they made a newly styled Joy for All pup, which is Charlie, the freckled pup. But they never made something completely new until they brought out the little bluebird a few months ago. And as this little bluebird is the most recent addition to the Joy for All range, I'll start with talking about it. This is the box that Walker Squawker comes in and as you can see there it says for ages 5 to 105. And as it shows in the instructions you can attach Walker Squawker's perch to any walker. And Walker Squawker has a magnet in the bottom that attaches to the magnet on the perch and once on the perch Walker Squawker goes into a singing mode and he will sing as long as the walker is being moved and the more he is moved so the more the person walks with the walker the more songs are unlocked over time until eventually he will sing six songs. Now I've unlocked all six songs already, so I'll give you a quick blast of the beginning of each of the six songs. of Walker Squawker is to encourage seniors to use their walker so it has a little don't forget me tune if the walker stops moving and it encourages 
the senior to use their walker and to exercise because the more it's moved, the more songs are unlocked. But that is only in the singing mode. So when you take it off the perch, the magnet, it goes in its more normal mode. When it's in this mode, you can still listen to the songs once they're unlocked by cycling through using the button in the tail. And when it's in this mode, it will react to being stroked. And it will also react to your voice because it's got a microphone. And the last sensor that this bird's got is a light sensor. Now, some people who purchased this bird complained about it keep shutting down. It has actually just shut down now. When the light's not very strong, it can shut down or go into a standby. So on an evening, when you switch the light out, it goes asleep, which is very charming. And when you switch the light on in the morning, it'll wake up. So this little bird greets me every morning when I come in and switch the light on. I think it's delightful. It's really strange that it doesn't mention the light sensor in the instructions but it most definitely does have a light sensor and I'll show you a demonstration that we did to prove it. When it goes dark it stops so we're going to demonstrate that. Yeah, it's gone off now. It's yeah, it's off. off. Yeah. yeah. I notice when you turn switch, the lights on. Switch the big light on as well, Paul. And the volume the bird makes comes back up slowly. There. And I found it just as much of a pleasant presence in the background as I have done Charlie here, my joyful freckled pop. And I'll talk about Charlie next. So this is the box that the Joy for All pup comes in. And he came really well packed. And as the instructions show, he has touch sensors on both sides of his cheeks, on the top of his head and on his back. There's a mute mode but I've never actually used this because I really like the sounds that Charlie makes. And as well as touch sensors, Charlie also has a microphone. So he, at the moment he's responding to my voice. And he also has a light sensor that works pretty much in the same way as the Walker Squawker's light sensor. So when you switch the light on, Charlie will greet you. And he will also greet you when you walk past him because he notices the difference in light. And he's posable so he can sit as well as lie. And it's got a little moving part, moves his head, opens and closes his eyes, opens and closes his mouth, and he can wag his tail. He also has a heart heartbeat. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but he's actually making a heartbeat sound if you hold your hand on his back. And that leaves Marmalade here. Now, I have to say that out of the three, I prefer Charlie and the little blue bird. And I'll explain why in a mo. So Marmalade has got a light sensor like Charlie and walk Skulker. So she will make a noise when you walk past her. She has opening and closing eyes, an opening and closing mouth, moving ears, her head moves 
and she can also lift one of her legs and lick it and she can also roll over on her back so she's got a lot of movement like charlie she has a mute mode and when she's in mute mode she won't crop. she won't make a meow sound but she will still purr because when you stroke marmalade she will purr and as far as i know marmalade doesn't have a microphone and doesn't respond to sound but the thing that I don't like about Marmalade is her standby mode. So I really like the standby mode of the Joy for All Pop and the Walker Squawker. I find them both delightful. But I did demonstrate in a previous video what I didn't like about Marmalade's standby mode and i'll show you that clip now so i left marmalade in the hallway next to charlie and i found that marmalade keeps making this mournful meow that was it just then and it doesn't seem to be in reaction to anything it's just like every so many seconds marmalade will make this mournful meow and that alternates with this other sound that marmalade makes i find the first part of that sound a bit creepy and then the last bit just nothing that a cat would make i've never heard a cat make a sound anywhere like that either the creepy bit or the bit that follows and then straight after that it goes back to the mournful meow again and that's what it does seemingly for hour after hour Now, Charlie, as you can hear, is quiet. Charlie will only make a sound um, in reaction to something. So if I come into the hallway, I'll get a little yap. Or if um, he sees a postman or any other person next to the door, because the front door's got glass in, so it blocks out the light, and Charlie will yap at that. And Charlie's yaps, they're all really nice and they varied. So that's why I don't tend to have marmalade on in the background like I do Charlie and the little bird. For me, it doesn't work as that background presence like Charlie and the little bird does. Though it's still very nice to stroke and to have on your lap. I just don't find it that nice presence all the time in the background. So folks, that about wraps it up for this video on my Joy for All collection. I look forward to seeing what Ageless Innovations brings out in the future. Especially as I've been so pleased with the last thing that they brought out, the little bird. And it's always great to see a manufacturer making interactive pets that are actually aimed at adults. So that's it for this video, folks. Hope you found that useful and entertaining. Thanks for watching as always, and see you next time.